You know, Cody, I was thinking the other day, I was just scratching my head while we were talking about doing this. And, you know, we're talking about these five bays. We're asking five shop owners to move into these bays and, and, and start engaging with the audit, engaging with Cody to see if there's something they can do in their marketplace to have a better presence and, and, and get connected to the people that are looking for them, right? And may not be able to find them. So what what would be a good what fear that always gets in our way, doesn't it? No, oh, yeah. Yeah. What 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 are these shop owners you think how how do you put that fear to rest? Yeah. And that's that's a tough one for a lot of people, you know. Um, you know, a lot of people don't face their fears and they uh they stay in the comfort zone. And you know, when you stay in the comfort zone, what happens? You 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 kind of float, you know. You uh, you keep doing what you're doing. You keep getting the same results. And sometimes you got to take that leap and uh, go beyond. Um, and a lot of times you can take that leap and things fail. And you know that that is part of life also. But sometimes you take that leap and things excel. And um, you know a lot of things I've, I've seen. You know many many people that are successful they've taken many many leaps and most of them have failed. But at some point they take that one leap and it was the one that just took off. And you know that's that's the one thing about what I do at Apex 11 here is that we want to be that, that one that takes off. And, you know, we're confident that that can happen. And, you know, if, if we don't think that we can do that, then, you know, we'll let you know, we're not uh, trying to scam you. We're not trying to sell snake oil, right. you know, yeah. none of that kind yeah. of stuff. It's like, we look at your business, you know, if, if you're doing a really, really good job um, and you've got everything under control, I'll tell you, you're like, Hey, you know, you guys are fantastic. Here's a few little things you can do. And here's that. And, but you know what, you're good. Um, but, you know, in most situations, um, you know, there's really a lot that we can do to, to help improve and, and optimize um, things with their online presence. And as far as, you know, the fears go, um, I know there's a lot of, a lot of marketers out there that um, there are a lot of businesses that have tried marketing in the past. And uh, I don't know why, but for some reason, you know, so many have had bad luck with marketers and, you know, really bad experiences and putting bad taste in their mouth. And I guess there's just really a lot of bad marketers out there. A lot of people that, you know, try to get into it and don't know what they're doing or maybe getting into it for the wrong reasons. And unfortunately, you know, it's, it's there. And a lot of people take the bait and it happens. Um, and it's sad, you know, cause then, you know, maybe they, they said, Oh, marketing's not right for me because it didn't work and they never tried again, but you know, marketing does work. It absolutely works, especially if you do it in the right ways. And again, that's where we try to come in and we, we show them that value. We show them that, you know, these are the right ways to do things. And, you know, you can, and as long as they can see that and feel comfortable with it, then, you know, that's really our goal is that they understand it and they know that, hey, I can see how this works for us. I feel confident in it. And then they'll feel more likely to to actually give it a try again and and continue. Yeah. And while you were talking there, I thought, hey, these, these five shop owners are sitting in these bays and they're driving their car or they're driving their business, you know, and they're all smiles yeah. because... You've done the audit, you've gone over some things that they could do, and then you move through that checklist of things that could be done and make it better, yep. and you do it with their permission. You're not yeah. just going to go try something without telling them what results may be. So I think that removes that fear factor. Yeah. Because I don't think Cody is going to do a bunch of things without getting your approval first. Yeah, yeah, you know, it'll be a step by step plan. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fine tune this. And I'm gonna put a new spark plug in here. I'm gonna <laughs> put a new tire over here. You know, that's that, that's what he wants to do off of this audit. So, folks, this is a fearless way to get something done with your marketing and the online presence around your shop, the two or three or four or five miles. So, Cody, I'm gonna wrap this section up. A man, remember the fear. We just removed the fear. So don't fear it, folks. Just get in those bays and let's get started. Folks, Cody and I were talking, man, we covered a lot of territory here. We covered territory about fear and we called the five bays and the 99%. And we called about this audit. And, you know, another term that came up, Cody, and I love what you said, is this beyond free. 